could turn out to be a costly cut. Last month, News Channel 8 watched the tree cutters there bringing down several grand oaks in South Tampa. Neighbors were not happy. Now the city is issuing $840,000 in fines, but some say it's too little too late. Eight on your side, Jeff Patterson joins us live from South Tampa. Jeff. Good evening, Stacey and Keith. This was the Life O'Reilly Mobile Home Park on Gandhi Boulevard. Trees that were here for generations have been cut down. We see it all the time where trees that are presumably healthy trees, they fall and they kill people. In August, certified arborist Jonathan Lee ruled the oaks here were diseased under a new state law. If a certified arborist like Lee declares trees are diseased, they can be cut down in residential areas. It seems pretty evident to me that that is not a diseased tree that's ready to die. Neil Sivier lives nearby and like many was outraged when he saw a tree company hacking down the Grand Oaks here. Look at the biggest tree in the whole area is appears to me to be perfectly healthy and this property is zoned as commercial and because of that the city fined the property owner and the tree company a total of eight hundred and forty thousand dollars for cutting down the oaks tampa mayor jane castor believes the fine sends a message it can't be looked upon as uh, we'll just cut down the trees and, and consider that the cost of doing business tampa city councilman bill carlson believes the state law should be changed. Really, it's, it could result in the destruction of our tree canopy in Tampa, which makes us special among cities nationally and internationally. An attorney for the property owner here believes that the state law preempts and prevents the city from issuing or requiring a permit. And so he says that's because people have lived here for 40 years. Obviously, it looks like this is going to court. In Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.